Hello everyone. Uh, now I'm going to tie just a random fly and to, I want to show you a few things, how I do them, how I prepare everything and few thoughts behind everything I do. Well, at least I will try to say as, more, as much as I can. So first thing first, uh, first thing you want to try to, to find a hook that you like. Of course, first decide on the pattern you want to tie. So uh, I'm going to use RX hook uh, curved nymph barbless in the size 12. I'm going to use UTC 70 denier in red color. And I'm going to use jig off tungsten bead because I want to invert the hook upside down with the point riding up. Uh, First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going just to tie in my starting thread, starting at the starting point. Uh, it doesn't have to be at the beginning of the hook, like near the eye. That's like, or near the tungsten if you're tying an imp, like like I am right now. Uh, just tie it where your body is going to be the thickest, and then uh, tie in all the materials more or less at the same point to make it thicker without uh, adding additional wraps of the, of, of the thread. So for now I'm going to position Coq de Leon and as you can see I will go backwards to secure it here. So I want my body to end more or less here where my thread ends. So after that cut the excess and work your thread towards the back of the hook in touching turns and when you reach near the end of a place where you want to end your fly add some whatever this is, let's see just cut back, okay, nymph skin, whatever you have something with latex and then catch it here Okay, it doesn't have to be too tight, so that's a thread control. Uh, and then as you advance forward, you can make more tight wraps. And then just go back. Uh, try to create taper that will continue to the place where you stopped your body. So it means here. Maybe sometimes you will have to do like two or three layers, but each layer has to be uh, slightly shorter than the previous one. That's how cre you create a taper. So this is more or less it. This is like three or four layers of thread. Now you can leave your thread here. Take your latex, stretch it a little bit, and start wrapping. And as you will see soon enough, you overlap each successive turn with the previous one. And that's how you uh, create those slight uh, segments in the fly. And then now I will release the tension a little bit and I will catch this material with my thread. Now keep the tension all the, all the time until you secure everything up uh, because this stretchy material tends to run away from from everything and to, to ruin everything before the end. Now, we finish this, just in case, not necessary, but we finish it. And as you can see, I have problems with my phone, it's too close. I need a good camera, definitely. So, now we have to decide where this bead will, will be. So I just stopped it where I think where I thought it will be good. And actually it is. So this place is quite good. Now I'm gonna push the bead back and move my thread forward. Just wanna position this bead in a single spot here. Check is it like facing downwards properly. And now it's time to use a little bit of super glue. Of course this one is hard to find if you are not living in China or Japan. Oops, sorry for the shake. Okay. This is just for to to be sure that's not going going to move. Now, 
you want to position your scut back in the middle of the hook. So not on the side, just in the middle. Your first turn should be rather loose and then if you're satisfied, just pull down and it should stay in, in the place. So check everything before you continue, looks good, but we need to go further back. So hold everything here, go back with your thread, now two thirds more or less one third. Now I'm satisfied and I'm going to use my own blend of uh, squirrel dubbing and some UV UV inside and more or less we are pretty close to the end of the fly. I like to moisture my fingers so I'll be able to dub this easier. So what I wanted to say also, I, I will make a video about that, is don't focus so much on a pattern, try to make a better presentation and to match the size of the foods you are trying to imitate. More or less, most bugs are having similar color down there, similar, not the same, and fish, they f tend to focus, I think, more on some other things rather than, than on the on the exact shade of the fly we are presenting to them. Okay, now I'm going to just add some more dubbing here, like figure of eight around the, the bead, but I'm going to make very thin rope for that one, very thin noodle. I want to cover a piece of this bead. So this is it, don't need much. So just crisscross it, cover everything you don't like. So this is it. Yeah, I like it. Now I can use my Sharpie and I can stretch this nymph thing. Stretch it and I'll make that wing case here. So go back with it just catch it near the eye you don't need to pull just hold it there but i need to color it a bit more obviously oh my mistake okay sorry for the shake again i'll try to cover with my color these corners here okay i should have done it before but well, I forgot. Okay, now just don't pull, just position everything. Again, with a very loose turn, just position your thread there. So, see I can move everything. With a very loose turn, position everything and then give it a little tug here. I need to... Bobbin is a bit heavy, so just tug it a little bit more that's it you can give it a piece uh, of uh, a drop of head cement over it but I'm not going to do that I like to keep my fly simple what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip finish it and that's it see how I use my middle finger to pull and take more thread from my bobbin I'll try to show that again. So I cross it, position my where I want it. So, okay, I'll make it first very, very short. So I, I just place it under the finger and I pull my middle finger and add more thread as I need it. That's it. Now you can add some varnish if you like or whatever. After two wood finishes, not so easy. Pull, stretch it, snip, there's your fly, very easy one, very effective one. Uh, you can see that red color showing through the body, through the skin. Okay, my light was not so good, but now it's better. So it's, it has that red wine color. 
it's very nice. Uh, the jig of tungsten will invert any hook you have. Straight one, curved one, jig one of course. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time when I will tie some other fly. Thank you again for your time and see you again.